house we've discovered was built by um, a family called Broom. So we guess that this was built by English or German carpenters because most of the Dutch carpenters were probably at war. The sons of the original builder, William, both were with the Albany militia and William was one of the signers of the Kaksaki uh, Declaration of Independence that was signed in 1775. The real entrance, of course, I think the front of the house would have been from the riverside because the property went all the way down to the river. And maybe we should walk around the other side. And the property was 320 some acres, 26 acres, I think, that went, that included this plot over here, which is 50 some acres, mm -hmm. went down to the river and according to John across the street, also included that very early frame Dutch house that's right at the intersection there. Mm -hmm. We found the records of the purchase of, of a slave named Jack in 1790. And according to the census records, there were um, a slave and two wenches, and there were three adult males, eight adult women, and a whole bunch of children. So it's sort of interesting that there were so many people living in the place. I mean, whoever you know built this obviously had sort of grand ideas, and things must have felt very promising because you know, the revolution was going on. And, so I don't know how much forward thinking mm -hmm. that whole mood created, but clearly people were probably feeling very excited and very hopeful. I think after it was over with. Yeah. I think mean, it was a dreary time for everybody. One of the former owners stopped in and told me that they had found records, which they are trying to find out where those records are, mm -hmm. but that the house during its construction, that they stopped the construction and used it as a fortress for a while. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Because it's on the highest point. Right. It has this right. 360 degree view looking out over the river. Um, we haven't been able to substantiate that, that that actually happened. Hmm. But come on. You can see how it started, how it's eroded, deteriorated in the face of that stone or been popping right off. Yeah, start, yeah. You know, it's amazing that it's in this shape as it is, considering the neglect right. over so many different decades.